Honestly, Ayami kun, you can't do anything without your senpai. What kind of tour guide goes the wrong way? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hmm? What's going on over there? I don't know if you're nervous or what, but trouble our customers like that again and you're fired! This next one is your last chance. Make sure you know your stuff! If I get fired in front of my parents, my life will be totally ruined. Hey, I noticed you were pretty down over here. You all right? Huh? That guy was yelling at you pretty loud, so I got kind of worried. Oh, you saw me get scolded by my boss, huh? Oh, how embarrassing. And he said something about you being a guide? Yes, I'm a tour guide with Chinatown Tours. I just recently moved to the city, but I have severe performance anxiety, and, well, I'm always messing up. All the other new girls are doing really well while I'm out here making a total fool of myself. My senpai's usually around to help me, but she was out sick today. I tried doing it by myself, but it was a total disaster. Oh, so that's why your boss was yelling at you. Yes. <sighs> And if I mess up again, I might lose my job. That's rough. And that's not the only thing. My parents are going to be at my next one. They wanted to see me shine, so they flew all the way out here. And you don't want to look bad in front of your parents. That definitely adds some pressure. That's why I have to do well on this next one. But I don't have a lot of time. It's just going to be another train wreck without my senpai's help. What should I do? Yeah, that's a real drag. There's got to be something you can do. I know this is sudden, but I have something I need to ask you. What's that? Would you be willing to help me in my next Chinatown tour? Uh, me? I know I'm being unreasonable, but do you think you could? Just having someone around will be a big help. You're asking me for help like I'm some kind of Chinatown expert. I'm kind of not. I'll be informing everyone about each stop we visit on the tour. I just need you to chime in anytime I get nervous and clam up. <sighs> You're the only person I can turn to at this point. Won't you please help? And of course, I'll make sure you're rewarded too. All right, fine. I'll sure as hell try. Oh, thank you, mister. I know we've only just met, but I'm incredibly grateful for how kind you've been. My name is Ayami Ishida. Nice to meet you, Ayami. I'm Kasuga. Kasuga-san. Pleased to meet you. Okay, let me fill you in on the places we'll be visiting. I'll simulate the tour with these pictures, so let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, sure thing. Thank you again. Okay, first, take a look at this picture. This here is the entrance to Chinatown. This magnificent gate is called a Pai Fong, and it's a staple of traditional Chinese architecture. Pai Fong, huh? That's a first for me. It's said that a red dragon lies within the Pai Fong, acting as its guardian. It watches over Chinatown from the gate, ensuring there's peace in the community. A red dragon, huh? That's perfect for Chinatown. Chinatowns are often associated with the color red, too. Okay. Next, I'll explain the stalls that line the street. Even in Chinatown, the street is lined with many well-known stores. And in our tour, we'll be going to the meat bun shop with the blue sign. They're known for their ultra-packed super bun. Pretty fancy. The meat bun is so incredibly large, it's nearly the same size as a soccer ball. You should give it a try sometime, Kasuga-san. Okay, on to the next place. This will be the final stop on the tour. The Swine Latong Statue. It's said to be the god that presides over all the food in Chinatown. Swine Latong? It's called Swine Latong because it's a play on both Swan Latong, Chinese hot and sour soup, and the pork often used in the recipe. Wow, that's uh, unique. There's a very interesting legend regarding this adorable Swine Latong. 
rub the swine latong's right ear four times before you leave Chinatown, and you'll encounter delicious food wherever you go. Rub its right ear four times. Am I supposed to be taking notes? The paint is starting to chip on its right ear, so use that to help you remember. Okay, that covers it. Think you'll be okay, Kasuka-san? This is tough. But it sounds like you've got it all down, Ayami. Mm, well, when it's the real thing, I worry too much about messing up, and well, my mind sort of goes blank. Still, I want to show my parents that I can stand on my own two feet, so I'll do my best. I have some things to do before the tour, so I'll be waiting in front of the Tayo Gate on Chinatown Way. All right, I'll see you later.
はいよう<笑>失礼しました。Go. Yeah.
あのどうしよう見ませんでした。Thank you for joining us on our tour today. I'm sure there are a few times I made a mistake or two, and for that, I apologize. No, no. It was a lot of fun going around Chinatown like that. Thank you. That big bully guy was really scary, but you were so cool. You didn't flinch one bit. Oh no! I squeaked like a mouse. I was super scared. <laughs> You're funny, Miss. Oh, Miss. What was the name of that pig we saw at the end? The Swine Latong. It's a new specialty here in Chinatown. They say you'll be blessed with delicious food after rubbing its ear. That's right, Swine Latong. That thing's so cute. I want to get a phone strap or something. If you're looking for those, they sell them at the shop near the entrance. So, by all means, please stop by. Thank you so much. Do you feel like you got any better at guiding people today, Miss? Huh? Actually, you know what? I'm not nervous anymore. Hey, that's great. Thank you, everyone. That's it for the tour. Yeah, Thank you. Bye. 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 Kasuka-san, thank you so much for today. You really know how to fight. Wow, that's pretty much all I'm good at. But forget me. Great job standing up to that gorilla, Ayami. I was really scared at first, but when I thought about protecting my customers. I didn't feel so afraid anymore. Right, dependable, cool, and most importantly, able to create the best memory for all the customers. That's why I came here. That's the kind of tour guide I want to be. That's really great. I'd say you were four for four on that, Ayami. 
The tour customers looked like they were having a lot of fun. And your dad and mom were both impressed too. You think so? Oh, I'm so glad. It's really all thanks to you, Kasuka-san. It's because you worked hard, Ayami. You've got some great parents. <laughs> well, I'm going out with them tonight, so I'll be sure to treat them well. Oh, right. I'd like you to have this, Kasuka-san. All right, then. I hope to see you again sometime. <sighs> okay. Time to head back. Um, excuse me. Huh? Sorry to bother you. I'm Ayami's mother. And I'm Ayami's father. Thank you so much for helping her today. No, I didn't do anything that special. Ayami worked hard because she knew you guys were coming. Well, that girl can be a little scatterbrained sometimes, but she does her best to be a good daughter. We were worried that all she might do was try to please us, and that her performance would suffer because of it. That being said, we were very much relieved to see how well she did today. I never knew Hayami was so strong, nor that she could make others smile like that. My husband even cried he was so moved. Oh, come on. That's beside the point. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be an even better tour guide from now on. Every parent has to let their child fly solo at some point. And it helps that there's great guys like Kasuko-san out there, too. And just what is your relationship to our sweet Ayami, exactly? Hmm? Oh, please, dear. Oh, right, that was rude of me. Kasuga-kun, was it? We'd like you to have this. I hope you'll be there for Ayami if she ever needs you again. <sighs> Good to see a family that's looking out for each other like that. Keep up the good work, Ayami. <laughs>